G'day guys, and today I'm going to review the game which is between the Cats and the Saints. Oh, frustrating game to watch, I must say, but uh, as we can see, the Cats got home by 21 points. They haven't played at Marvel for quite some time, and it clearly showed, but um, yeah, Geelong able to get their sixth win of the season. Not very convincing though. Um, yeah, I hope they review it like a loss. It sounded like uh, a lot of any interviews after the game sort of just disp um, put the players on display and even the coach to sort of say we were, we were lucky and uh, being lucky is an understatement. St Kilda kick 5-17 and sometimes you can have five goals, 17, and um, have a lot of pressure on those shots or long shots from outside 50 that are hard to kick. But they had a lot of gettable shots and they had a lot of chances. Um, they played... Great footy, the Saints. Uh, they just couldn't finish off that final piece of the equation, which is um, goal kicking. And it's been a problem for them in the past, and it's come back again to rear its ugly head. Geelong um, did e exactly what they had to do, um, but barely, barely. <clears throat> it was a pretty disappointing game to watch, and I feel for anyone that had to watch that game, that was a, whether you're a neutral fan, Cats fan, Saints fan, um, not a very good display for Friday night, but you know, Cats Cats uh, did what they had to do. I saw the Saints just uh, had, I think they missed about five or six set shots in the first term. They, um, they yeah, they had so many chances, and when Geelong grew up by goal at quarter time, it was yeah, borderline unbelievable. Uh, with how many yeah, Saints had seven shots, Geelong had three, but we're up by six points. So yeah, talk about not taking your chances and. Had the Saints put a bit more scoreboard pressure on, it uh, would have been a much different story. Um, they had so much of the play, the Saints. Um, they were the better side on the night, but they just didn't quite kick as straight as uh, you would like. But obviously, kind of like uh, that Sydney game where Geelong won every stat in the book comfortably, but didn't. Uh, they kicked twelve sixteen. So sometimes it, you know, the goal kicking goal kicking is uh, such a crucial part of the game, and I think. You know, that's been exemplified by tonight's performance from um, from both sides. Cats have 18 shots, kick 10. Saints have 22, kick 5. So, goal kicking is, um, yeah, it's quite a skill and it's, it decides matches. You can clearly see here, you know, with a lot of opportunities and not a lot of difficult shots, a lot of gettable shots. They just didn't quite um, get the job done there, but... Oh, I can't think of many positives for the Cats, but I can talk about the Saints a lot and what we didn't do well. Um, I suppose that's why I do my reviews, but the Saints were able to outrun us, outwork us in the contest in the, in the middle. That, you know, they were really tough and really strong. They always had a spare player out, so that's just constantly all night. It just felt like the zone, there was just one player missing in the link because there was always a spare Saint player, so... No matter where it went, uh, they were outnumbered. So that just means that's a work rate thing, and it's a desire to run and and uh, you know be be right in the game, I guess. So didn't see enough of that. It wasn't enough gut running. Uh, Saints obviously they love they love the fast deck and they play well at Marvel, but yeah, teams bring the pressure. And I thought last week we really learned from being able to you know take the pressure. Get a little bit overwhelmed, but then be able to adjust within the game, and we didn't this this time around. Um, we over handballed it uh, way too much. It was, yeah, way too much handball. When the pressure got on, there was these one meter handballs that just put the next guy under pressure, and that's when you got to find a mark and just do a short kick, find some composure, and then once you find that mark, you, all of a sudden they're not that frontal pressure just dissipates because they can't go at you if you got the. Got, got a mark, you've got a bit of time um, to sort of, you know, assess it. And, yeah, I don't feel like we played as fast as we previously have. And I must say, the Saints would have done really well to uh, mitigate our our ball use and how quickly we could have used it with their ability to man us up. But that comes down to Geelong work. You know, they've got to work hard as well and, you know, run some angles and you know, outrun the, the man that they're on. But, yeah, the Saints' desire to run and work was, yeah, was significant and, found throughout the night but mm, yeah some concerns for the cats i mean what they did do well is when the chips were down and um the game was to be won in the last quarter they they you know they put the foot down and you know they they won it out of the middle they they won it out of the contest 
and uh, they got it forward and had some you know some good clean looks and were really tough uh, when it really really counted. But yeah, I'm a bit uh, a bit scared to go well, if it didn't go our way on the scoreboard. Uh, completely out of Geelong's hands whether the Saints kick those goals or not. Almost uh, once they've got a shot on goal, you know, not much more Geelong can do. But a lot of their uh, slackness, I suppose, just led to that. They had so many marks inside 50. I reckon nearly the most marks Geelong's conceded in a very long time going inside their, uh, their well, inside the opposition's forward 50, inside the Cats' D 50. But there was some good, you know, individual performances, which I, I suppose I'll discuss uh, when I talk about the players. But as a team overall, completely different side to what rocked up against the Tigers and, you know, backs to the wall. Um, I went in tonight feeling pretty confident knowing, you know, big win over West Coast and, you know, we got the job done on a few games and um, obviously yeah, a, a massive win over the Premiership fancy. I thought, okay, well, got to go on with it. Um, didn't really. Saints, again, not kicking straight enabled us, but... But yeah, full credit to the Saints. Uh, Max King, you know, obviously missed a few. Uh, Memory had some chances and battle had a chance in the goal square late and, you know, just didn't bounce their way. And Butler, had, I think, had a funky one as well towards the end there. So the Saints definitely had their chances. Um, they'll be ruining this one. Uh, but it looks like the Cats may have taken it as a loss and I hope they see it that way because um, they were not very competitive tonight they did you know they got the game on their terms um very late in the game but the saints had it on a string for most of it and were toying with the cats really that their, their ball movement you know from d50 to forward 50 at times was uh without any pressure at all so that's something the cats need to look into looking at the stats had more of the footy we always had more of the ball we don't always use it super well lots of handball I don't know what they're, you know, well, a lot of handballs under pressure. It's probably why they're low inside 50 count, neither side touching the 50, which was interesting. Disposal efficiency, I don't feel like that was completely accurate. Uh, neither could really make amends inside 50, and the Saints definitely wouldn't have been, they would have been efficient in terms of probably getting a score, not probably getting goals, though. Free kick count was incredibly low, and uh, Brett Ratton had an interesting comment about Tackles, they laid 80, 80, 85 or whatever it was. We'll see it in a moment and got two or three holding the ball. So, yeah, uh, Cats out of the middle, this, this hit out stat. Um, they need to bring Stanley back in. He's, you know, he had, had one off game. I don't think he could drop a bloke who's, you know, supposed to be one of your best players or at least, you know, stable Ruckman. Um, you have to bring him back in and then try and have Blitzars more back if needed. And you can always swing Blitzars in the Ruck if you have to, if things are going terrible. Only as a last resort, I would have thought. Clearances are sort of semi-level, although it felt like a lot worse. It just felt like we couldn't get the ball out. We probably got a lot of clearances, but not a lot of clean clearances versus the Saints got it. They were out that's straight away. Plus 22 in contested possessions. That's normally a, a good sign, um, being positive in that count. Uh, yeah, we turned over a lot. We did turn over a lot. I don't know how we had 100 marks. It didn't feel like we had much control of the ball at all. 14 marks inside 59, that was telling. Cats kick 10-8. Um, yeah, the Saints obviously should out-tackle, but yeah, that, their tackling pressure was ferocious. They were really good and very stiff not to take home the win. Um, that's about it. Cats locking in a bit of an interchange. Saints just uh, keeping a few left there in the tank. All right, votes. I've got a rough idea. Um, I haven't fully thought it through, though, so... I'm going to have to just take a quick breezer of what's going on here and then make an uh, informed decision. All right. I think, yeah, I think I've got my three. Okay. Three votes. Uh, Cam Guthrie is often leading the disposals. Got a goal, uh, 36 touches, seven tackles, six marks. He, he found the footy and he was in the engine room and, Gee, if it wasn't for Guthrie, uh, would be in a fair bit of strife, and that's why I obviously got the three votes. He was his gut running was really good, and he's a tough player, so um, yeah, he got the three for mine. Two votes I went with Stewart. He got twenty three touches, um, four marks, three tackles. I think. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's really tough. Takes the game on. Um, 
Yeah, and he was really good to watch. So, yeah, he he often finds his way into the vote. So he should be right up there in their best and fairest and could be potentially be leading it. I think Guthrie would be pretty hard to beat, though, the way he's been going about it. One vote, I'm going with a bloke a bit down the list, but where is he? <laughs> Trying to find him. Uh, Brad Close. Kick two, also got 12 and four tackles. So, oh yeah, I really like his work rate. I've gone a little bit of, out of my way here, but um, yeah, I, I felt early on he, he was really in the game and uh, he applies really good pressure and his presence in the forward line is good. And yeah, he's, um, I've liked, I like the way he's gone about it. I didn't feel like Duncan got 30, but he did. Uh, I didn't feel like Smith had 27, but he got he racked up a bit of the ball. Until he got 31, I didn't think he was all that great, but he obviously took a few kick-ins, a uh, nice torpedo, which led to a goal. Anderson was solid. Uh, I nearly could have given him a vote. 17 touches, 10 marks. He, he's, yeah, I felt like King sort of got a hold of him, not on the scoreboard, but definitely with shots. But yeah, 10 marks is excellent. <laughs> and so did King. King. King took 10 marks. He had a great game, just couldn't kick goals. Oh, uh, he he won he wouldn't mark it as a great game with one goal five. Uh, Man a goal kicked a goal twenty one. He worked his way into the game in the second half. Uh, Rowan's game was solid. He nearly got a vote for mine. Kicked a couple of goals. Um, some good pressure acts in there as it always. Parfit wasn't too bad with nineteen. I don't know why he was playing at full forward in the first quarter. And he, he's not a he's not a good kick inside fifty. He's not a good kick at goal. So I don't know why he bother putting him forward uh, to keep him in the midfield. Or on the bench. <laughs> Hawkins was quiet. Um, didn't get a lot of quality delivery. Kicked a couple, though, which was good. Radically, took some good grabs. Uh, played okay. Atkins got a bit of the ball. Didn't really hurt the opposition or do a lot. Seems to get caught a fair bit. Mentioned close. Um, Sel was quiet. Very quiet. Didn't feel like he really got into the game much. Uh, Blitzars was quiet. Wasn't too bad in the ruck at times. Buse, um, yeah, got 12, but... Yeah, I don't think yeah was really noticed. Um, Narkle got 12 and a goal, but I felt like early on in the game, he was really promising. And likewise with Henry, I felt like early in the game when we were struggling, he was, um, yeah, he was really helpful. Guthrie got 14. I don't know why he's in the team, but he just continues to get a game. Cameron's a little bit quieter, um, kicked a goal, got 10 touches. So, yeah, again, not, not, some, not really great delivery inside 50. And just, yeah, the Saints' pressure was uh, not super... Allowing for the Cats to play the way they wanted to play. Clark, not too bad with 12, a couple of turnovers, but uh, hopefully they yeah just persist with him. He, yeah, he's got great potential. He just needs a few good games, a bit of confidence, and I think he'd be fine. Uh, yeah, so Cats by 21, round 10. I feel like we've got a tough... Oh, well, might have uh, spoken a bit early there. Now I'm hoping I haven't, you know, just jinxed us or mozzed us, but... Geelong got Gold Coast uh, at GMHBA. I think it was about a 7-8 goal game last time. I think Ablett kicked a, a nice one from 50 to finish it off. Matt Rowe's fifth game. It was, um, I think, Ablett. Uh, the, yeah, it was like Selwood's 300th and Ablett's 350th or whatever. And everyone was like, yeah, it's Matt Rowe's fifth game. So that was what the celebration was all about, not not Gaz and Joel. But, yeah, I, I expect us to win and win well. Gold Coast will definitely challenge us at times. But, yeah, if we play like we did tonight, I think Gold Coast win. But, yeah, pretty hard to tip against the Cats at home and you wouldn't... Yeah, the likelihood of Gold Coast uh, defeating Geelong there, probably not super high. Um, anyone beating Geelong GM HBA isn't really super high. You have to kind of be a really good side to challenge and kind of go from there. But, yeah, I expect us to... Be a bit more in sync and you know back back down the highway um, at our home deck. We're a bit more comfortable there and tend to play much better footy there. So that's what I think. But that's the game, guys. Uh, Cats by 21 points. Awesome game. Saints just couldn't quite finish it off. Um, Cats obviously flexed the muscle late and did yeah the absolute bare minimum to get over the line. So oh well, four points. Play your best footy towards the end of the year and go from there. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Oh, yeah, well, I'll catch you on the next video. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed the review. Like and uh, subscribe away, not like away. <laughs> That's double like. Tap the bell as well to hear for when I get uh, videos uploaded so you guys are in tune, in sync with what's going on. Thanks again, guys, for sticking around. I'll see you on the next video.